Hey everybody, Sam Tamkinen asked me about, uh, you know, when to use special strength exercises in your training program, and I can't really give, you know, that this is where you put them every time, and and that's not really the purpose of these videos too, is I'd, I'd rather be descriptive um, about how to use something than, than prescriptive, because if I just prescribe, all right, do this many sets, this many reps, you know, that's only good for however long, but if you understand the the real theory behind it will be that much better for you. So as you're looking at special strength exercises, uh, because they're going to be what also helps develop uh, sporting technique, you know, they need to have a high priority in your in your training program. Uh, so you don't want to let them be interfered with too much by, by other exercises. But depending on where you are in the year, um, they'll, they'll fall at different places and they'll be used in different ways. Um, so I'll give you two, two examples. The first would be for, uh, for a football player, for an offensive lineman. Let's say we're using Prowler Explosions. You could use those early in the year um, as part of uh, Alactic Power Block by doing them, you know, let's say five sets of three reps uh, with, with full recovery between each set. Um, and then, you know, that would happen maybe after your, after your sprinting. And then you could use them later in the year as a part, part of Alactic Capacity Block um, as, you know, two series of six plays and, uh, every play is, is two explosions. And then you're going to be doing it with, with limited rest based on a time motion analysis. The other, the other place, the other example would be, uh, for an MMA fighter, you know, maybe early in the year, you're going to use, uh, a drill like a, like a tire flip as an alactic power exercise, and you're going to want to do that early, early in the in the training day, so the quality of it doesn't diminish because of the other general work that you do. And then, uh, as you get closer to a closer to a fight, maybe you use it as an alactic capacity. Uh, so then you're going to be using it, you know, maybe 10, 10 sets of two with 10 to 20 seconds rest between uh, between sets or even into lactic capacity and doing as many flips as you can in 30 seconds, and we're using it in that way where it's going to be very tiring, then you're going to want to put it later in your, in your training. So hopefully that kind of gives you some insight in, in my thought process of where uh, uh, the why behind, behind where I'm putting the exercises.